All right, everybody. Happy Sunday night. Welcome to Music on the Menu on the River. Alan K. Stout with you as I always am. Sunday nights from 9 to 10 o'clock, bringing you regional artists doing their own original material from right here in northeastern Pennsylvania. Hanging out with D.C. Taylor. D.C., good to see you, my friend. Good. You too, Alan. We just uh, had our, our Thanksgiving holiday this week here in the uh, big old U.S. of A. Yes. Um, thinking, you know, about the things we've been all thankful for. And I mm -hmm. kind of enjoyed people putting some of that on Facebook earlier in the week. It was such a nasty uh, early part of November. <laughs> yeah. Friendships ended. Uh, marriages, I think. <laughs> <laughs> people getting uh, uninvited from Thanksgiving dinner because of who they voted I'm for. I'm sure. I'm sure. <laughs> there was know. an article about that in, uh, I think, USA Today or something. I believe it. I mean, absolutely. And so, you know, maybe everybody take a little bit of a deep breath early this week and go, you know what? I got my health or my family or my my dog or whatever it is, you know, yes. just, you, know yes. uh, you know, for me, it's, you know, I got my dad and my, my two children and, um, that's, that's, that's all you need, there you know, go. the rest of it will just take care of itself. Yes, <laughs> At least we exactly. Also. So I hope you all had a Thanksgiving that was, um, memorable and peaceful and that, you know, everybody that was supposed to come still wind up coming <laughs> <laughs> and we'll be talking about Christmas, uh, in the coming weeks as we've got something planned special like we always do the Sunday before the holiday. But let's get this show rolling with Panacea. This one's called We the Broken. In the deep surrender of your mind Apathy We'll never nullify tyranny. Yeah. 
treatment here on music on the menu on the river a song called the secret and before that panacea with a song called we the broken two bands that uh, no longer recording or performing made some great records uh, both of them you know about 10 years ago and i still love to play them on the show uh, panacea are a very good modern rock band that i really felt <clears throat> around the time they put out that record dc had the talent um to be you know, the next Breaking Benjamin out of yeah. Wilkes-Barre. Yeah. I, I thought that their songs were just as good as, as the Benjamin stuff, and the production was great, the songwriting was great, uh, great performers. Um, you know, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, but the record, the records were, were right there. And after that, the silent treatment, a, a rock band that a lot of their stuff actually reminded me of Prince. You yeah. know, I remember saying that at the time when uh, we used to play them on the show when they first debuted a while back. We like to mix it up here on Sunday nights, so we... We just dusted off a couple of great tracks going back about a decade ago here on the program. And moving forward, we're going to play one that we just premiered here on the program about two weeks ago. The artist is Patrick McGlynn. He's from uh, Up Scranton Way. And this is a song called Monsters. I can't play you every single song, but I try to 
sing it when my voice is gone And I can't say that nothing's ever gonna go wrong, no I will always carry you back home when the road is long
Eddie Up Now here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Maybe Never Mind. Before that, brand new music from Patrick McGlynn, a song called Monsters. Kind of reminds me a little bit uh, some of the lyrics of a great Paul Simon song called Father Daughter that was mm, released okay. uh, a while back. Yeah. Uh, you know, not that Pat's vocally sounds like Paul Simon, but just that kind of uh, tone to the to the song, you know, mm -hmm. about a, a parent. And, uh, it's a great stuff from Pat. We premiered a whole bunch of stuff from Pat on the show. And um, I have spoken with him via email about possibly coming and doing one of our shows at Breakers in 2017. We'll have Shannon Marciotti on deck here um, on, uh, I guess it's December 6th, is it? The first Tuesday of yeah. December. Yep. Um, and she'll be here with us hopefully next Sunday in the studio to talk about that. But after that, getting into 2017, we're starting to look at some shows now. And Patrick... And Lynn is one of the artists that we'd love to have come down because we love that new record. Last week, we premiered a whole bunch of stuff um, from Brett Alexander and Jeff Lehman. We played a couple of new songs last week. We premiered a few from from the duo the week before that, too. And we got some nice feedback on that show, so I thought we'd play it again for you. This one's Brett Alexander, Jeff Lehman, a song called Along the Way, brand new music. Wake up feeling restless every day Cause I don't know where I'm going Along the way I've been following my heart Come on me But I don't know where I'm going Along the way Along the way Along the way My guardian angel come my fall But never once tried To spare me from it all She said I could see you Were heading the wrong way But I knew I couldn't stop you Along the way Someday, and I will be pulling for you.
Spady here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called King of Hearts. Before that, the Dishonest Fiddlers, with a song called Brand New Jalopy. And before that, Brett Alexander and Jeff Lehman with a song called Along the Way. Those uh, first two we played there, Along the Way and Brand New Jalopy. New songs here to the show that we premiered here at the later half of 2016. And we are winding down 2016. Only got about a month left, and uh, Christmas time coming up. Oh, well, I guess you could say it's Christmas time now since Thanksgiving has passed. DC, you know, think about music and Christmas. Um, you know, we'll do our Christmas show like we always do the week, uh, the Sunday before Christmas, and we'll play some regional artists and do holiday yeah. music. And you know, we'll be festive because we're festive folks here. Sure. Uh, do you have any like musical memories at? Christmas time? Like, you know, did you ever see a good show around the holidays or get an album on Christmas? That you're like, yeah, I think if I, it's like a Christmas music. Um, I, I, I think uh, you, you'd hear a lot, you hear a lot, a lot of Christmas music on the radio mm -hmm. um, right around Christmas time. Some sure. stations even go to like all Christmas music. And yeah. uh, I was kind of never into that till about five years ago when my, uh, my girlfriend came up from Florida. Yeah. And it was, it was, uh, we had known each other for years and years before that. So it was like the very, her very first trip up here, uh, it was about five years ago, December, 2011. And, uh, we, we happened to be driving around and, uh, we were just, we were in the mood for listening to Christmas music. And ever <laughs> since then, now I just, I tie, I, I attach Christmas music to the, uh, the memories of, uh, of my lady coming That's up nice. here. And yeah, we went, went out to, took a drive out to, uh, Ricketts Glen State Park and all that, but couldn't, couldn't really do anything because everything was all iced over. Yeah. And they said if you didn't have the proper equipment, uh, you couldn't go climbing. But think of that. <laughs> From Florida, she comes up here, and there's Christmas music on the radio 24-7, and, uh -huh. and it's and it's ice and snowy. And, and there was you, snow on the ground, yeah. She so was, she got the ambiance, right? Yeah, yeah she, was, uh, she was really, uh, she was all about it. I'm all about the ambiance. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I love Christmas music. I love Andy Williams. My mother used to listen to Andy Williams, so he's probably my favorite Christmas artist. Although a few years ago, I bought the Johnny Mathis and the Sinatra and mm -hmm. uh, uh, Elvis Presley's Christmas record I've had since I was in college. I love his, the one he put out. You know, one thing about Elvis Presley's Christmas record, yeah. you know, you kind of build yourself up to the artist level where you have a Christmas record. Right. That was like his second album. Oh really? I mean, he, was, he, <laughs> he was he was so huge by like 1956. Mm -hmm. By 57, they were like, "You got to do a Christmas record," and he and he did. And, it, and it, I think it's the biggest selling Christmas album of all time. You I know? think so. so. Yeah, yeah. So you know, wow. I believe it. He's the king for a reason. That's so right. I saw Kiss at the Spectrum in Philadelphia back in 1985, right around Christmas time. Um, we did a readers' poll at the Times Leader back around Christmas time in '94. The Badleys were voted best original band. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, I remember getting Bruce Springsteen's Mammoth Live box set at yeah. the Christmas present, I think in 1986. It was yeah. his first live album, uh -huh. yeah. and it was, a, it, at, at that point, it was a companion compilation of live tracks recorded from 1975 through 85. Okay. So basically, for like from the Born to Run tour through the Born in the USA Born in tour. USA, yep. And yep. It, it's just a terrific record, and mm -hmm. I remember listening to that on Christmas. So I've got some, some musical great. memories for Christmas as well. Let's play another one that we just debuted here very recently on the show. This one's from Joe Segan. It's called Them Do's. With my new guitar Asked for his blessing To make me a star He said, boy Your answer ain't in the 
Check here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Susquehanna Girls. Of course, I'm sure part of that title came from this beautiful river that runs down this beautiful valley of ours. I love the river. I walk I walk along it all the time. I just yeah. think it's... Uh, nice. I, I, I think it's fabulous. I kayaked down it once, too. Did you? Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. Before that, we heard Dakota, a song called Push. Check out this week's issue of the uh, Electric City. I did an interview with Joe Wigleski from... Um, Sound Investment Studios, and uh, he's been a producer or engineer there for almost 25 years. And he talked about working with Jerry Hludzik on the Dakota Records a little bit in the article, and you know how challenging it was because you know Jerry's um, very particular about sound, and some of his favorite projects were the Dakota Records. So I know everybody knows Wiggy from SI Studios. If you want to check that out, that's in the Electric City this week. Before that, Joe Segan, brand new music that we just premiered here recently called "Them Dudes." We'll be back at Breakers. Coming up in a couple of weeks with Shannon Marciata, first Tuesday of the month. Again, as we always are, we're going to have her here next Sunday night talking about her music and what she's been up to. This will be her very first time performing here live at Breakers with Music on the Menu Live. We'll play one for you right now. This one's called Submission. I know there's more behind those eyes 
Aaron Fink here on Music on the Menu on the River, a song called Standing on the Sun. Of course, Aaron, the former lead guitarist for Breaking Benjamin, played on most of the group's records, I guess all of them except for the last one. Um, and Aaron, since leaving Benjamin, has been very, very prolific in his writing. He's already released a couple of records in the last year or so, and another one is scheduled to drop. I just talked to Aaron the other day in January, so this will be his third solo album in maybe a year and a half's time. So wow. he's really been cranking out the tunes. Nice. And, um, you know, we'll look forward to playing you some new music from Aaron shortly. Before that, Shannon Marciana, submission. Again, she should be here with us next Sunday night, talking all about what she's been up to with her music. Leaving now, as I always do with the Badleys. This one goes back to the Epiphones and Empty Rooms record from about, um, about three years ago. Wound up being really the last Badleys full studio album. Uh, we haven't had one since then, and since Brett Alexander has left the band, not sure when we'll get another one, but this is one of the great tracks on that record. An epic song, epic storytelling about uh, you know life in America through the years through the eyes of three different people. Uh, one of the one of the prettiest songs Brett's ever written. It's called A Place to Call Home. We'll catch you next week.
this ranch house But I can't Pay my goddamn bills They promised me